Good evening and welcome to Calera. It is the site of tonight's doubleheader between the Rattan Rams and the Calera Bulldogs. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams on this Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game. Pleased and privileged to get to be here with you tonight. And we're looking to have a good doubleheader here from Calera. Late January in the 2019-2020 season, the season is winding down. I'm joined by my sometimes silent partner, Jayla Quinn, on camera and we are getting ready to go here tonight as tip center court is controlled by Rattan, the number 15 team in class 2A coming in with a record of 16 and 4. Get the starting lineups to you in just a moment. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Angie's Hometown Laundry and Dry Cleaning, Bulldog N Nutrition, Colbert Nutrition, First United Calera, Los Arcos, Gallipot Pharmacy, and Sales and Trails Family History. Tonight's first quarter is brought to you specifically by Angie's Hometown Laundry and Dry Cleaning. Starting lineup for the Rattan Rams who have the ball right now. Looks like this, a sophomore wearing number 12, Jay Lee Gordon. A sophomore wearing number 15, Ainsley Trapp. A senior wearing number 22, Mika Taylor. A sophomore wearing number 23, Addie Clay. And a senior, number 24, Maddie Watts as the Rattan Lady Rams are coached by Michael Clay. Kicked outside and Taylor will be fouled. Or actually, she actually committed the foul over the back and so the Calera Lady Bulldogs hold on defense on the first offensive look for Rattan. Lady Bulldogs starting lineup looks like this. A senior wearing number two, Leah Brown. A freshman, number 15, Brittany Cooper. A senior, sophomore, excuse me, number 23, Cassidy Mullins. A sophomore, number 24, Keila Berryhill. And a sophomore, number 32, Micah Carlton. Another foul. Charge to Rattan. So that's two here in the first 43 seconds. And the Lady Bulldogs have just barely passed the timeline now. Looking to get some kind of offense going here. Calera comes in with a record of 6-11 and 11 on the year. Also in Class 2A, we'll talk a little bit about the Class 2A playoffs a little bit later on in our broadcast. District assignments not yet announced. Thanks, by the way, to Angie's Hometown Laundry and Dry Cleaners. Now, Angie's is located at 107 South McKinley here in Calera. It's just right across the street to the east from the Domino Hall. Passes across, picked up by Brown, and that one's knocked away. It's going to stay with Calera. Angie's is open from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday on Saturdays, 9 a.m. to noon. And she said, hey, listen, if these hours don't work for you, give her a call. She'll work with you and work for your convenience. She has alterations, laundry, starching, dry cleaning. You name it, it can be done at Andrew's, Angie's Hometown Laundry and Dry Cleaner. And I've seen that there are lots of different ways that she has things going on. Great setup there. Been open for less than a year now. They're on McKinley, and we have a traveling violation. By the way, laundry and starching. You can get your jeans done like this. No starch, light starch, medium starch, heavy starch, welder starch. <laughs> They're all levels of starch. She's got you covered there. So it's Angie's Hometown Laundry and, gr and Dry Cleaning right here in Calera. Passes Errant and the Rattam Lady Rams. Not really in sync here in the opening two minutes. No score. And we have a little bit of a technical difficulty with our clock here on the camera, so we'll get that worked out as we go along. Two points for Calera as Mika, excuse me, Micah Carlton gets that one on the board. Lady Bulldogs have an early lead. Rattan quickly brings it back, and finally, two points on the board. Jaylee Gordon with the first two for Rattan. Full court pressure is broken as Carlton brings it down and just barely is able to give it off to Brown on the left side. Double team comes out as we'll get rid of that clock for just a moment. Top of the key, three-pointer, a little bit strong, and... Trap will come away with it. Two 
2-3 zone looks like, and the three-pointer comes up a bit short. Rebound will keep it with Rattan kicking out, and that one is drained by Gordon. So Gordon with five quick points and erases a two-point deficit. Now Rattan with the advantage as we keep it right here. Coach Bobby Moore calling the timeout for Calera. Really thankful to all our sponsors, by the way, for these Bryan County Patriot Spotlight Games. If you'd like to be a sponsor, please let me know. Joey at BryanCountyPatriot.com. Joey at BryanCountyPatriot.com. Shoot me an email, and we will get that taken care of. By the way, Angie also does wash, dry, fold. And she takes care of your laundry for you. She can do comforter and curtain cleaning as well. Tablecloths, too. So quite a wide array of things that Angie and her hometown laundry and dry cleaning service can provide for you. It is local, all you Calera folks. Keep it right here in town. Shop local. Yeah. As Coach Moore talks it through. Full court press is broken, and that's a good thing coming out of the timeout, but then a steal. Nice job. Clay steps into the passing lane. It's going to stay with Rattan. Allow Calera to set up on defense. Rattan with an early three-point lead. Put back is going to send Taylor to the line. Mika Taylor will be shooting two. Lady Bulldogs coming off the appearance in the Bryan County Tournament. Defeated Boswell in the opening round game and then fell to Silo in the quarterfinals. Silo, the eventual champions of the Bryan County Tournament. And then a loss for Calera to Bennington in the consolation semis. Taylor makes one of two. Full court pressure not that effective tonight for Rattan. Calera's able to break it and do it again. So once you get it down the half court end, that's where the pressure is really kicked in on D. Knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with Calera. Lady Bulldogs dealing with the injury bug here just a bit. As that one goes down, Calera cutting the deficit in half. Cody White out with an ACL injury. A couple other players been a little slow getting around. Nice block by Carlton. And Lady Bulldogs with an opportunity to tie this up. Pass to Carlton, step around, off the glass and in. Micah Carlton with another two. And this one's tied up. Six all the score, and that lasted for just about long enough for me to say it. Bryce McLean, the senior, has stepped in for Rattan, and she drains a three and makes it a three-point ball game once again. You're just going to have to trust me with that score for a moment until we get that clock back up. Another three attempted that time by Trapp. And the long rebound chased down the corner, but the trap is on, and Rattan gets it right back. Jumper no good for Keeley Johnson. The sophomore misses. An opportunity for Rattan goes by the wayside. A little bit of a collision. Crowd doesn't like that, but no contact away from the ball. Steal, and Carlton steals it right back. Jumper won't fall for her from 14, and we have a foul. Loose ball on the rebound. <laughs> the 
There's a quick inbound. Carlton's there, but it's ripped away. And possession arrow says this one's going to stay with the Lady Bulldogs. Clara needed to take advantage of something here. Trailing by just three to the number 15 team in the state. Tough opponents here in the southeastern portion of the state of Oklahoma. Of course, two of the top ten teams in the state in Silo and Caddo reside right here in Bryan County. Look inside, and that one's knocked away out of bounds. Bree Buck just couldn't get that one to the basket. Another substitution now. Buck, by the way, a freshman, and Kaya Daniel stepping in. And so it's a short bench tonight for Coach Moore. And Daniel on the inbound, 12-foot jumper, falls. And the senior gets two. Clara back to within two. Excuse me, back to within one. There's the pressure. Looked like it might be a little bit more effective. The trap is there. Someone has to be open. And Lady Rams knocked that one out. Nice night for basketball here in Bryan County. Driving hard to the basket, count it, and an and one opportunity. Brittany Cooper gives the Lady Bulldogs the first advantage since a 2-0 lead to open the game. She'd like to try to expand that advantage back up to two points here. Can't do it with that shot. Foul in the lane, and this will result in two shots the other direction. And sorry for you folks at home. We're going to have to do without the scoreboard. It's like at least till halftime here. We'll get that adjusted at the intermission. In the meantime, it is a 10-9 game with 152 remaining. And we'll get that fixed for you. Neither free throw good. And free throw line really not kind to either of the teams tonight. At 10, one for four from the line, and we have another foul. So first quarter. Not over yet. Matter of fact, just a little more than six minutes have gone by, and we've seen ten fouls from these two teams. Or excuse me, eight fouls. Nice job by Brown stepping in the passing lane. Can she stay ahead of the defender? She does. Shot too strong. Put back no good either. And Calera not able to take advantage of the opportunity. Daniel steps in, throws it right away. And this one eventually is going to go back to Calera there. Neither team really finding any kind of rhythm here in the early going. Ainsley Trapp, the sophomore, will check back in for the Lady Rams. The trap really looked to be effective. The half-court look once the ball is past half-court. This is even better. Off the glass, will not go off the steal. McLean, third attempt, not going to happen. How about a fourth? Well, Rattan should slow it down and will. Let's look at the half-court set here. Ainsley trap for three, right wing, count it. And Rattan back on top, less than a minute remaining. 47 seconds left here in the first quarter. And another steal. Trap. Two on one look. She'll take it herself. Count the basket. And one opportunity. And Ainsley Trap taking over here in the waning moments of the first quarter. Now, can she make the free throw? Or make the free. Th there it is. Ainsley 
and one successful now. 35 seconds left, and Clara picked up the dribble, and there's another steal. Here comes Rattan the other way. Long step, but the basket still falls. Counted for Keeley Johnson, her first two points tonight. And the Lady Bulldogs watching this slip away here as the first quarter winds down. Another errant pass, and time for Rattan, up seven. Passes high, push back, nice job. Great job by Taylor, catches it there though. Two on one opportunity. Brown looks for a friend, here comes a cutter. And with 3.6 seconds remaining in the first half, Calera with an opportunity to shoot two here, or excuse me, in the first quarter, to put in points with the clock stopped. Trailing by seven, 17-10. That foul is charged, by the way, to Mika Taylor as Bree Buck's first free throw attempt is no good. She'll get a second opportunity, 3.6 left. The defense is kicked back. Second free throw good for Buck. 17-11 the score, a little bit more time. And a heave from half court will come up short. But the Rattan Lady Rams go on a run at the end of the first quarter and own a 17-11 advantage over Calera. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back in a moment. This is the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight Game. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning, I'm Joey McWilliams. I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today. Back here at Calera, Rattan on top by six. Strength of some pretty good shooting by Ainsley Trapp, who has six for the Lady Rams, Jaylee Gordon with five. And Micah Carlton, four points for Calera. Three-pointer trap, that one's short. And we'll go to Calera. Not much effort on the rebound that time by Maddie Watts. She let that go. I think she may have thought it was touched by the Lady Bulldogs. Instead, here's the full court pressure again. It's a man look, 100%. And they're going to give Daniel the opportunity to bring it down. Count it. Nice job, Calera. Good look inside. And another two points for the Lady Bulldogs. 17-13 is the score with 7.25 remaining here in the first half. Three-pointer, good. Mika Taylor with three, and it's back to a seven-point lead. As a senior, able to drain that one from long range. Watts is going to give Daniel the opportunity to bring it up. I, I think I'd let her just dribble it past <laughs> half court at that point. They're leaving her alone. Now they guard her down low. Cutter, Brown. Too strong. Daniel put back. She'll go to the line. 6.49 remains here in the first half. It's a 20 to 13 ball game. I want to say thanks to all of our sponsors tonight Angie's Hometown Laundry and Dry Cleaning, as well as First United and Calera. Los Arcos, Gallipot Pharmacy, Sales and Trails Family History, and with that timeout, gives me an opportunity to talk a little bit about Bulldog Nutrition and Colbert Nutrition, sponsor for our second quarter here tonight. Bulldog Nutrition and Colbert Nutrition are conveniently located in Calera and in Colbert, and they serve the highest quality, delicious, and nutritious, healthy shakes and colorful, energizing teas available. By the way, I've had one of the strawberry teas they are fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And I will tell you, I'm, 
It was incredible. It, there's a variety of flavors, by the way, for these colorful, energizing teas. And I felt good as well. Additionally, they serve a variety of other local favorites, ranging from delicious iced protein coffees to fat-burning donut-flavored shots. That's right, fat-burning donut-flavored shots. If you're an athlete, like these ladies out here right now, or you have a son or daughter that's an athlete, you can feel safe knowing that each batch of the products at Bulldog Nutrition and Colbert Nutrition are tested for banned substances and labeled as NSF certified to meet athletic compliance standards. And that really is good to know. The staff at each one of these locations is ready to greet you with a smile and ensure that you receive the best quality of service in southeastern Oklahoma. It's Bulldog Nutrition and Colbert Nutrition. Go see Sean and Sarah. I know they'll appreciate that. Kaya Daniel with another basket on the free throw. Makes one of the two. And it doesn't matter. Three-pointer the other direction for Rattan, and the lead is back up to nine now. And Rattan's starting to look a little bit more like a team that's ranked in the top 20. Carlton tries the reverse. No good, too strong. And here come the Lady Rams. Sophie Hammonds, a junior in now for Rattan. And the skip pass to Trap up and through three defenders. And Ainsley trapped with two more points. It's now 25-14. Rattan on top by double figures. And we do have some of this area marked off up here, but give some local folks an opportunity to be on camera here with the Ryan County Patriots spotlight game tonight. Travel top of the key as Brown will... Turn that one over. And Coach Moore is just going to talk about this one again. Score right now 25-14 with 5.42 remaining here in the first half. And, again, a shallow bench for Coach, Coach Moore as his team dealing with some injuries. Not everyone that's on the roster suited up tonight. A couple of players uh, in Ray Hill and Cody White uh, not playing tonight. And so it's, a, it's going to be a shallow bench. You need to take advantage of many opportunities and everything that you possibly can. By the way, Bulldog Nutrition is located at 109 West Main Street here in Calera. Colbert Nutrition, 313 Moore Street in Colbert. So you have options and choices. And by the way, Sean and Sarah are going to be opening up a new location in Denison sometime soon. But, hey, let's uh, while we're sticking around on this side of the river, north of the river, Bulldog Nutrition open Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., Friday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m., and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And if you're wondering, 109 West Main Street, it's right across the street from the police station and the town hall here in Calera. So right across Main Street right there on the south side of the road. 25-14 is the score with 535 remaining. Calera looking at things a little bit differently Still, it was a two zone at first, but now it's looking a little bit more like a man. Now, top of the key, three-pointer drained by Taylor, and she has another from long range. And now Rattan exerting itself a little bit here as the second quarter moves toward the midway point, doubling up the Lady Bulldogs, 28-14. Errant pass taken away again. Trap can't control it. Nice job coming down on defense and just knocking that away. Mullins was there. It's going to force an inbound. Give that defense an opportunity to set up. Rattan with points in transition tonight. That one's going to have to come from a half-court look. Taylor again. And she follows her shot. Taken away. Nice job. Brown is there. Hammond's trying to pressure. Taylor steps in the passing lane, and Mika Taylor with two more points. And it's now a 30-14 to 14 advantage for Rattan. Talk about the Lady Rams being number 15 in Oklahoma in Class 2A. Coming off a loss to 3A, number 14, Valiant in the MC6 tournament. Count the basket. Two more now as Calera gets, uh, breaks the scoring drought with Carlton. So Rattan the MC6 falls in the championship game. <laughs> wow. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't know. I don't think Mika Taylor was shooting like that in the championship game. Another three-pointer. 
It was a 52-32 win for Valiant. Prior to that, though, Rattan had rattled off nine consecutive wins, including victories over Baptiste and Valiant in the MC6. Thirty-three, sixteen. Rams on top. And Taylor steps in, rips that away, and we have a foul. And that's going to be more of a frustration foul right there from Mullins, and not too many fouls to give for Calera again with the short bench tonight. Mullins picked it up, and that's her third, so she'll take a seat now. And Coach Clay is going to send in. Some help from his bench. Gordon back in the game. There's McLean driving. Good job by Carlton. Got a hand on that one. Saves it. And Brown will come away with it. Three on one look. But here come the Rams. And we have a travel as Brown dribbles it a little bit too high. Can't control it. Diamond look now on the full court pressure. And it's effective. Brown with the steal. That one's knocked away. It's a nice job by Trapp on defense. Draws the tie ball and possession arrow favors Calera. 33-16 with 3.06 remaining here in the first half. Mentioned Bulldog nutrition. How about Colbert nutrition there at the bottom of the screen as well? Two locations on this side of the Red River to take care of you. you know, I talked about Bulldogs Nutrition's hours, by the way. How about Colbert Nutrition hours? If you're watching this a little bit more, a little bit farther south in Bryan County, Monday through Wednesday at Colbert Nutrition's from 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Thursday and Friday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. And Saturday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. If you stop by at either Bulldog Nutrition or Colbert Nutrition, the pass in to Carlton, that one's knocked away. And Buck will get it back to Carlton. And Trapp with another steal. Three on one look. She'll keep it herself. Left handed shot rolls in. Ainsley Trapp with two more. If you've been there in the early morning, you know there is a good crowd around starting school time. Everybody needs that nutrition in the morning to get things going. And you know they have meal replacement shakes as well. Near travel, and this is going to wind up as a turnover. McLean, and she may have taken an extra step. She's able to get it back to the teammate as Johnson shots no good. Going the other way, Lady Bulldogs trailing 35-16. The foul will happen the ref says on the court. So with 2.10 remaining in the first half, Rattan extends the lead. Second foul charged to Keeley Johnson. <laughs> Daniel comes back in. That's going to give Carlton an opportunity to take a seat. She's been fairly effective for Calera here in the first half. First free throw for Cooper is good. Second one finds its way home as well. And now it's 35-18. Daniel is there and a great job being there, getting a hand up. Buck comes through for the steal. The trap not effective, though. And Daniel now needs to find someone. Gets past half court, dribbled behind her. McLean, this time she takes it to the right side of the glass, and this time it falls for her. Bryce McLean with another two. Rams back on top now, 37-18. In this Class 2A matchup, playoffs not that far away. Class 2A, 3A, and 4A district assignment says that one falls for Brown. Leah Brown drains it from long range. Those assignments were set to come out tomorrow. It looks like it's going to be another week now, according to the OSSAA. As the foul from the Lady Bulldogs happens well on the backcourt end. First foul, though, charged to Bree Buck. Buck. 
Both teams in the bonus now. And the front end of the one and one is good for Ainsley Trapp. She'll get another opportunity here. Second one no good. Rebound put back off the glass and in for Addie Clay. Sophomore now for two. And it's a 40-21 lead with a minute eight remaining here in the first half. Pass the cutter and Cooper wasn't there. Rams push it again. Rams this time won't get it to fall. And Cooper will come back, get the board, and she was fouled. So she'll go to the line for a one and one opportunity. Thanks to all of our sponsors here tonight, by the way. It's Angie's Hometown Laundry and Dry Cleaning. Sales and Trails Family History. Gallopot Pharmacy, First United here in Calera, Los Arcos, and Bulldog Nutrition and Colbert Nutrition. Bertan sends Mariah Tollett into the game for the first time. The freshman checking in now. As Cooper's first free throw was good. She's now made... With that one, four in a row, four consecutive points, and it's a 40-23 lead. Full court pressure is effective here against some of the second stringers now for Rattan, and that's going to send Coach Clay to his bench. He'll send in Sophie Hammonds here to help bring the ball up the court. Coach Moore calls the dogs off just a bit. Had a zone look on that full court pressure, and now... He pulls that one back, a 2-3 look, and Cooper will commit the foul. With 39.6 seconds remaining here in the first half. Terry Joe Taylor, by the way, also in the game for Rattan as the free throw is no good front end and it's knocked out of bounds. So Calera trailing by just 17 now with an opportunity here before the intermission. It'll give Coach Moore a chance to talk this over with his team. Man-to-man -man look still. Brown shots a little short. Nice job. Way to go to the court for, uh, excuse me, for Barry Hill. Gets it back to Brown. That one won't go. 15 seconds left. Lady Bulldogs trying to stay away, not commit the foul. Brown gets a hand in. Can't pick it up. Here comes the defense. She stops the jumper. A little short. Didn't want to take that one in and have the chance for the block. Lady Bulldogs, opportunities there, but can't get it to fall before the break. And we will go to the halftime intermission with Rattan extending its lead up by 17 now. It's 40 to 23. We'll be back in a moment here on the Bryan County Patriot Spotlight Game. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning, I'm Joey McWilliams. I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today.
Back here at halftime of this doubleheader between Rattan and Calera. And by the way, if the uh, signal is a little bit sketchy, we will be attending to that and making sure everything is reloaded properly on the MidwestSports.net YouTube channel. Home of the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight Game. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. I want to say thanks to our sponsors tonight for tonight's doubleheader. Sales and Trails Family History, Gallipot Pharmacy, Angie's Hometown Laundry and Dry Cleaning, Bulldog Nutrition, Colbert Nutrition, Los Arcos, and our sponsor for the third quarter tonight is First United here in Calera. First United located at 601 North Service Road in Calera. It is a 42-23 lead now for the number 15 team in Class 2A. Led in scoring right now by Ainsley Trapp. Trapp with 14 points. And Mika Taylor also in double figures in the first half. She has 12. Jaylee Gordon with five for the Lady Rams. For Calera, it is Micah Carlton with eight points to lead the way. Brittany Cooper with six and five points for Kaya. Daniel coming in tonight. Rattan wearing the road green jerseys. And Calera in at white on the white jerseys here at home. Next to the last home game for Calera here in 2019-2020. Final home game, senior night taking on Lone Grove as Daniels turnaround jumper won't fall. Tie ball and then possession arrow well, coming right out of halftime will go to Rattan. For the Lady Bulldogs, Keila Berry Hill in the contest as well as Leah Brown right now, Kaya Daniel, Brittany Cooper, and Cassidy Mullins. And Mullins had three fouls in the first half. Taylor once again shoots from long range. That won't fall, but another offensive board for a 10. And Daniel rips that one away from behind. And this time the tie ball will favor Calera. First United with many locations throughout Oklahoma and Texas. And this one right here in Calera. And, and it's a location as I do my banking with First United. It's nice to have that here. Lived in Calera for a number of years, my family did. We do live in Durant right now, but I do a lot of business down here, and it's nice to be able to just step over and let Clint Horner and his group here Take care of business here at uh, the Calera branch. Three-pointer too strong for Rattan. And the steal and turn around, keep it right back here as the foul is going to send the Lady Rams to the free throw line. First free throw good for Keeley Johnson. And that's the first point scored here in the second half. Johnson with two. Mullen shot no good, but it's chased down, and it's going to go with Rattan here. <laughs> Barry Hill wanted to go ahead and bring that one in. By the way, during halftime, had a Calera student. Uh, you may have seen that on the mic. Asked a classmate to prom, and the answer was yes. So celebration here in Calera. Rattan with another offensive board. Rattan with another opportunity. This time it's Trapp. She doesn't get that to fall. Lady Rams trying to pick up the 17th win of this season and hope to get a favorable placement in the playoffs. Class 2A playoffs right around the corner. I mentioned Calera's last game. It will be February 17th. It's going to be right here in Calera taking on 
The number 17 team in Class 3A, a tall order for senior night. And the playoffs will start that following Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. District play actually on Friday and Saturday in Class 2A. For Red 10, season finale is at Valiant on February 17th. The home finale will be against Colgate on February 13th. And the steal as Johnson takes it down and puts two more in the basket. Three minutes into this third quarter, Calera yet to put points on the board. You realize it's a, a short bench, a tough matchup tonight against Rattan, but one of the things about the Oklahoma playoffs is that everyone, every team makes the playoff no matter what your record is. And you want to go into the playoffs with a little bit of momentum. Now, for Coach Moore, obviously, may want to get a player or two back from injury and player maybe to be feeling better as Taylor for three all the way around and finally goes home. Mika Taylor now with 15, and she has a game high. Another near steal, but that one's taken out of bounds by Trap. Steal and Rattan had a 2 on one advantage. It's going to slow down and allow the defense to get back just a little bit and not a turnover. It was last touched, looks like, by Mullins. Taylor kicks it back out. Hammonds for three. That one's too strong. Things winding down here on the season, as we mentioned. For Rattan, the rest of the season looks like this. It's home for three games of the five. It'll be Red Oak. As that three falls again, how about that? Mika Taylor with another from long range. She has five three-pointers tonight. Rattan goes on the road to take on Antlers. And then back at home, and it'll be a matchup of two top 20 teams in Class 2A as Cato travels out to the east part of the state of Oklahoma. Colgate also is the season finale we mentioned. And turnover before the basket. Finally at home for Rattan against Valiant. Meanwhile, for your Calera Lady Bulldogs, also five games remain on the docket, and four of them on the road before the season finale here against Lone Grove. Tipped around and knocked out, so defense stepping up, and Coach Moore clapping a little bit, applauding his team for the effort. Next week at Marietta, then at Tushka, following week at Colgate, then at Caddo, and then at home here against Lone Grove. So it really doesn't get much easier for Calera as the season winds down. Foul on the court. And really, that's just Jaylee Gordon making the move to the basket, being aggressive. More often than not, the aggressive play will get the favor of the officials. Good officiating crew here tonight. Hill and Wilman and Wilmoth. By the way, Scott did say to send the word to the officials' wives they would be home tonight. I didn't know if there was some concern. <laughs> They'll be home a little bit later on, so definitely keep the dinner out. Hammonds will go to the line to shoot two. 
And this one has slowed down a little bit here in Calera. Gives me an opportunity to say a little bit more about our third quarter sponsor tonight, First United, the Calera branch. Again, I do my banking with First United. It's Clint Horner and, and all of the folks here in the Calera branch will take care of you. I have always been welcomed with a smile and get my banking needs taken care of in a timely manner here. It is nice, by the way, again, even with all the locations for First United, when I'm doing work here in Calera for the Bryan County Patriot and more, nice to be able to just head over to the bank really quickly and stop by and get things done. It's First United here in Calera. Talking about the Bryan County Patriot, you can find out a little bit more about some playoff assignments as five of the teams around Bryan County have received their playoff assignments. Cooper tries to make a move. She'll be fouled. And this will be inbound under the Calera basket. 50-23, to 23, the scoring has slowed down dramatically. All ten points, though, here in the third quarter have been put on the board by Rattan. Calera needs points. Daniel may be the person to do it. She'll post up down low. And the defense here, you notice for Rattan, by the way, before we get to those playoff assignments, the defense by Rattan, it's crowding that lane. Lady Bulldogs not wanting to take the shot outside, and there's an opportunity for Mullins. Defender down. There's the long shot for Cooper. Won't fall. Daniel the put back. And Mullins keeps it in. But it's going to head the other direction. Buck sets up shop right there, but doesn't matter. Nice look for Rattan, and two points for McLean. County schools receiving their assignments, by the way, as noted by the Bryan County Patriot. Durant, well, Durant's heading east. No surprise there, Class 5A. Durant will be on the east side of the state with its area assignment. No regional pairings have yet been posted. And that one up and a little too strong. Looking ahead of the pack, there's McLean to receive this one step and in. Bryce McLean now with nine points tonight. Boswell. In Class B, Area 4, we'll head to Thackerville. Boswell, Thackerville, and Caney in that district. Victory Life heading to District 3 of Area 4 in Class B. Stringtown hosting that district along with Victory Life and Sasakwa. And also in Class B, Area 4, it's Ashley. As they head out east to Batiste. Ashley, Batiste, and Eagletown in District 4 of Class B. Also, Bryan County's Class A team is Bennington. And the Bears will go on the road to Smithville for district play. District 7 of Class A's Area 4, along with Fort Townsend. 15 seconds left here in the third quarter. Buck. And I'm not sure that they know how much time is left. Coach Moore telling someone, Mullins. And she double dribbled. Now, Coach Moore and I think some of the crowd said, hey, listen, there were some green jerseys that touched that one, but not going to get that call here with 4.2 left here in the third quarter. Time winding down. Jumper at the buzzer won't fall. And the Lady Bulldogs cannot put points on the board in the third quarter, and the Rattan lead is extended now to 31 points. We're going to take a break and back with eight more minutes here on the Bryan County Patriot Spotlight Game. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning. I'm Joey McWilliams. I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh, my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day.
not going to have lots of fun today. Well, Rattan showing why it's a top 20 team in Oklahoma. And there's the young man right in front of us there who got a prom date tonight. Congratulations to him. It's spring. Well, it's not spring yet. It is the spring semester. And prom right around the corner. Wow, where is the time going here? It's the fourth quarter. We know that. And tonight's Bryan County Patriots Spotlight Game is presented by Gallipot Pharmacy, by Angie's Hometown Laundry and Dry Cleaning, by Bulldog Nutrition, by Colbert Nutrition, by Sales and Trails Family History, by First United Calera, and by Los Arcos here in Calera. Two more points for the Rams as Darren Merriman on the board tonight. That's her first two. The freshman with two points. Some of the players for Rattan that have come in in the latter part of this contest. Lady Rams up comfortably right now, looking to pick up win number 17 on the season. Steal for the Lady Bulldogs, see if they can take it the other way here. Brown will slow it down. Now, Brown actually had an injury this past week as two more points fall for Rattan. Bryce McLean now in double figures on the night. And had hurt the lower part of her back, according to Coach, Coach Moore. And she's been favoring that some. It's tough for someone to bring the ball up the court with the consistency that she has. And definitely having to step in with out white. Stoppage of play will allow substitution for Calera. And Cooper and Brown now take a seat as Daniel comes back in, as does Mullins. Also in the contest for Calera tonight, uh, freshman J.C. Manhard. Mullins with two, and that ends a scoring drought that has extended throughout the entirety of the second half so far. Cassie Mullins with her first two points tonight. Rattan just looking to roll down the clock on this one. Don't forget we do have the second game of our double header coming up. So please keep it right here on this YouTube channel, Midwest Sports Net. Three, count it! And Terry Jo Taylor, the freshman, knew as soon as she shot that one it was going in, she was headed the other direction. Taylor now with her first basket tonight. She becomes the eighth Rattan player to score. Not crowd, not bad tonight here on the Calera Gymnasium. The nice new facilities have been around for less than five years now as Daniel will go to the line to shoot too. Fantastic gymnasium. One of some of the quality gyms here in Bryan County. Of course, our last broadcast was down at Colbert as Daniel makes the free throw. She's now two for three from the line tonight. Fantastic gymnasium there as well. And some great facilities again throughout the county. Nice places to watch basketball, high school basketball. And Bryan County historically a, a great place for high school basketball. Three-pointer Clay. Count it. Addie Clay. She has five. And long range three tried by Mullins. And looks like she felt like she had an opening, just had to take that one. You really can't blame her at this point either. Openings have been few and far between. More subs coming in for a 10 now, including McKenna Buchanan. And that one a little too strong for Taylor. 
Mariah Tollett also in the game again for Rattan. 64-26 past the midpoint here in the fourth quarter. Second game of our doubleheader on the way as both teams from Rattan come in tonight with records of 16-4 on the year. Now the girls team is about to move a half game up on their counterparts. Bulldogs wanting to see if that becomes a full game lead. Too strong, Daniel put back good. Kaya Daniel as the senior now has eight. Lots of fouls in the early going. As a matter of fact, eight within the first six minutes of this game. And the fouling has dropped off a little bit as this game has become less in question. Nice steal. Down the court and in. Counted. Keela Berryhill for two. And Berryhill, the sophomore, with her first basket tonight. Looked like she wanted to step in there again. And she does. Saw the same play. Will the result be the same? Not this time. Time out on the court as Rattan will take that. Gives me an opportunity to talk about our fourth quarter sponsor, Los Arcos at 104 East Main in Calera. And Los Arcos with this Calera location now for a couple of years. It's family-owned Mexican food. George and Darlene Venegas. With Los, Los Arcos and always a big crowd. And the cool thing about that, always great food. They'll take care of you. Stop by. It is on the east side of the tracks, 104 East Main here in Calera. I do want to say thanks, by the way, to all of our sponsors from Calera tonight. Bryan County Patriot Spotlight game. 217 remaining. And as Coach Clay talks things over with his team, we'll see if that passing lane will be open again. Bounce pass a little too strong. Daniel with a steal. Here's the opportunity as Daniel is open left side. Same result is on the right. Kaya Daniel now with 10 points tonight. The nice pass inside. An opportunity maybe for the Calera offense to work out some kinks now in a real-time situation. Buck knocks that away. Daniel comes away with it once again. The steal. Here comes Mullins down the court. Stops. Jumper. Drains it. The teardrop falls for Mullins. And Cassidy Mullins with two more points tonight. Credit to Buck and to Daniel. And then, of course, Mullins completed the play. Taylor for three. That one won't fall, but the putback goes. McKenna Buchanan gets her first basket tonight. Another freshman on the board for Rattan as we have dropped below the one-minute mark in this game and saved, but not closely enough. Berry Hill falling out. So Rattan will move to 17 and 4 on the season, and Calera will fall to 6 and 12 on the year. Taylor, that one off to the left again. It's going to go Calera's direction. I want to say thanks to my sometime silent partner. Jayla Quinn on camera tonight. And thanks to all of our sponsors. Thanks to Sales and Trails Family History, Gallipot Pharmacy, Los Arcos, First United Calera, Colbert Nutrition, Bulldog Nutrition, and Angie's Hometown Laundry and Dry Cleaning. Daniel tries the three at the buzzer, won't go, and our final score tonight is Rattan, 66, Calera, 
34. That is the final. Calera falls to 6 and 12. Rattan to 17 and 4 on the year. Mika Taylor with 18 points tonight, including five three pointers. She drained Ainsley Trapp for Rattan with 14 points tonight. Bryce McLean had 11. For Calera, it was Kaya Daniel who led the way, getting into double figures tonight with 10 points. Micah Carlton had eight. Brittany Cooper with six. And those are your leading scores for both these teams. Again, for Jayla Quinn, I am Joey McWilliams. Thanks again for watching this presentation of the Bryan County Patriot Spotlight Game. Second game, the boys game, coming up in just a few moments here on this YouTube channel.